Shirikisho la sekta ya binafsi linaitaka serikali kuidhinisha uagizaji wa chanjo ya COVID-19 na kampuni za kibinafsi ili kukabiliana na uhaba wa dozi hizo humo nchini. Wawakilishi wa shirikisho hilo waliofika mbele ya kamati ya bunge la seneti kuhusu afya walisema shirikisho hilo limetambulisha angalau kampuni tano zinazoweza kuagiza chanjo hizo na kupiga jeki juhudi za serikali. Wasiwasi umeibuka kuwa huenda dozi za chanjo hiyo humo nchini zikaisha ifikia hapo wiki ijayo. Shirikisho la sekta ya afya la kibinafsi pamoja na lile la sekta ya afya limepiga mbiu kuhusu uwezekano wa ukosefu wa chanjo dhidi ya COVID-19 wakati taifa hili linapokabiliana na wimbi la tatu la maambukizi ya ugonjwa huo walipofika mbele ya kamati ya bunge la seneti kuhusu afya wawakilishi wa shirikisho hilo walisema kwamba ikiwa hakutakuwa na mikakati maksusi ya kuagiza dozi zaidi basi wa Kenya huenda wakajipata katika hali ya hatari ya kuambukizwa ugonjwa huu next week uh, uh, this country will run out of the uh, covid vaccine by by next week i don't know if that data is accurate and if it is accurate what will happen to the people who have already got their first job and they are due would that bring a confusion and what are they doing about it the exposure of course the current exposure of the covid-19 infections that will take a long time to be able to reach herd immunity and the only best course of action is vaccination 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 having that in mind it's important therefore that we are not caught up in the rigmaroles of uh, of uh, of wanting to to be spent spend a lot of time on policy and decision making the appeal today to the cs health is allow us to retain these good quality vaccines which are not expired and then we have a framework to appropriately try and cover as many people as possible Shirikisho hilo linasema linashauriana na serikali na Wizara ya Afya kuhusu uwezekano wa kuidhinishwa kwa kampuni tano za kibinafsi kuagiza dozi hizo na kupiga jeki juhudi za serikali I'm hoping to speak with the CS of Health today to request an appeal for the 70,000 doses mind you I have not talked about the 3,500 doses which are in the clinics that's a separate issue and it might have a concern and there are many specialists who will tell us whether those are valid or not if they're not valid none of us should give it to any kenyans and they should be destroyed wakikariri kwamba marufuku ya uagizaji wa chanjo ya sputnik yalifa wakilishi hao wanataka dozi 1070 za chanjo hiyo zilizoagizwa humo nchini zitolewe kwa wakenya kabla ya muda wake wa kutumika kumalizika 1500 doses are lying at low level facility and it will be important for us to decide what to do with them because they cannot be brought back to the main cold store we are a bit concerned because if they are at the lower clinics you can't bring them up for re-export and they might need to be uh, destroyed maoni hayo yaliungwa mkono na baadhi ya viongozi katika eneo la narok na watu tayari wamedungwa na kila moja aliambiwa atapata vaccine eh, eh, ya pili eh, chanjo hilo la pili na nauliza serikali wajaribu kuona kuwa watafanya hivyo kwa sababu makosa kubwa itakuwa ni vibaya kabisa watu kupata chanjo ya kwanza na waje wakose ya pili hata hivyo mkutano uliopangwa baina ya kamati hiyo na wakilishi wa serikali ya kaunti ya Kisumu kuhusu madai ya ubadhirifu wa pesa za kukabiliana na janga la COVID-19 haukufanyika baada ya maafisa wa serikali hiyo kukosa kufika mkutano huo sasa utandaliwa Juma lijalo nikiripotia darubini ya Channel 1 naitwa Gladys Mongai